Hello and welcome to a very special look at Tin Hearts. My name's Sam Clay and I'm a producer here at Wired Productions, working closely with Rogue Sun to develop the game. Today we're going to be looking at some footage never before seen, which shows off some rather complex puzzling that happens in the game's second act. As mentioned, this is the first time you'll be seeing it, so please appreciate that things are a little rough around the edges and we are still under development. For those of you who may have played previous demos, we begin in the attic in Act 1, and in Act 2, we begin in the house itself, slowly unearthing a story within a once-loved family home. This immersive puzzle adventure game is wrapped in a powerful tale of love and compromise. Hello. I didn't see you. How long have you been standing there? Me? Well, I just got here. <laughs> well, please, do carry on. Well, don't mind me. Pretend I'm not even here. Well, <laughs> all right then. This is the first time the player is introduced to Helen as she's playing her violin. The music room itself is one of the larger puzzles you'll be introduced to. Whilst looking around the room you'll see plenty of instruments as well as certain items that are going to help you traverse the world and with further inspection you can see where the level's end door is. Now if we take a look at this little music store over here we've got one of our favourite characters in the game which is the one man band. This little gentleman is carrying three instruments which are represented in this room and this helps the player understand their goal. These red blocks can be placed anywhere, whereas in other puzzles you have fixed locations for these blocks. During the time that the player pauses time, you'll be able to see an overview of just exactly where the soldiers are headed. This allows you to plan ahead and also work out where you may fail. Here we're going to use a nearby drum to set off one of the first memories of the room. This first memory portrays the love of music between Helen and her daughter Rose as they play together. As the soldiers bounce off another drum onto the top of the piano they will now march across and we'll have to work out how to get them further across the room. Aiming this drum onto the other and then on top of the grandfather clock and we can use precision control to make sure we see exactly where they land.
each time we interact with one of the instruments in the room, we get a brief flashback into the lives of Helen and Rose. We now have to progress further. We're gonna do this by bouncing onto the mantelpiece and using a nearby cannon to shoot down a ladder. Hitting the ladder with a cannonball allows our soldiers now to climb the ladder and safely get ahead. But don't forget, these blocks are useful in many ways. You can turn them, spin them and even use them as ramps, which we'll do here. As much as we do enjoy watching these little fellas walk along, you're able to fast forward and rewind time. So if you're pretty confident you've got the solution, well, feel free to fast forward ahead. Activating the final music instrument in the room now raises the music stall high enough that our soldier friends can get across safely and to the level's exit door. We'll have plenty more on Tin Hearts very soon. There's a place for you too, so I hope you'll join me here. I can't wait to show you more. <laughs> 